the Battle of Ramri Island was fought in January and February 1945, during World War II, as part of the 15th Indian Corps offensive on the Southern Front in the Burma Campaign. Ramri Island lies off the Burma coast, 70 miles south of Akya, that had been captured by the Imperial Japanese Army in early 1942 along with the rest of southern Burma. In January 1945, the Allies launched an attack to retake Ramri and its neighbor Chejuba Island, to establish air bases on the islands for the supply of the mainland campaign. The battle is associated with reports of many Japanese soldiers being eaten by saltwater crocodiles living in the inland mangrove swamps. These reports are disputed. The Guinness Book of World Records has listed it as worst crocodile disaster in the world and most number of fatalities in a crocodile attack, but the story has been debunked by scientists and historians. Background The early capture of Akub made the 26th Indian Infantry Division available for an attack on Ramri Island, 70 miles to the south the island being 50 miles long and 20 miles wide, flat and an obvious site for airfields. A plan was ready by 2 January, when it was clear that the advance of the 14th Army would soon pass beyond the range of its air bases at Imphal and Agartala, replacements at Chittagong, Akub and Ramri would be needed. On 14 January, the 26th Indian Division was ordered to attack Ramri on 21 January, as a Royal Marine detachment from 3 Commando Brigade occupied Chejuba Island. The Japanese garrison of Ramri consisted of the 2 Battalion, 121st Infantry Regiment, part of the 54th Division, with artillery and engineer detachments to act as an independent force. Prelude the battle started with Operation Matador, an amphibious assault to capture the strategic port of Kyorkbu at the north end of Ramri Island and the airfield near the port, south of Akub across Hunters Bay. The invasion force was led by three joint assault commanders, Captain Bush R.N., Major General Cyril Lomax and Wing Commander H. Smith. Reconnaissance carried out on 14 January 1945 found that Japanese forces were placing artillery in caves overlooking the landing beaches on Ramri and the Royal Navy assigned the battleship, HMS Queen Elizabeth, the escort carrier HMS Amir, light cruiser HMS Phoebe, the destroyers Rapid Napier, Norman and Pathfinder, with the sloops Flamingo and Ring Kistner, to provide more firepower in support of the task force. On 21 January, an hour before the 71st Indian Infantry Brigade was to land, the Queen Elizabeth opened fire with 69 rounds of 15-inch shell from the main battery, while aircraft from the Emir spotted the fall of shot. Phoebe also joined the bombardment, along with B-24 Liberators, B-25 Mitchells and P-47 Thunderbolts of No. 224 Group RAF, under the command of HQ RAF Bengal and Burma, that draft and bombed the beaches. Battle. The assault troops were slightly delayed when a motor launch and a landing craft struck mines but landed unopposed on the beaches west of Cork Pewitt, 9.42 a.m., securing the beachhead by the afternoon. The following day, the 4th Indian Infantry Brigade landed, took over the beachhead and occupied Cork Pewitt on 23 January. The 71st Infantry Brigade advanced southwards, down the west coast. Two days later Mayon was occupied and the troops reached the Yanbao Shong the next day. Resistance at the Shong from the troops of the 2 Battalion, 121st Regiment increased and on 31 January, the 71st Brigade was ordered to move inland, northeast towards Seine, then head south towards Ramri Town. The 4th Brigade was to keep the defenders at Jan Baokshong under pressure and follow up vigorously should they retire from the southwestern coast of Ramri Island and found it unoccupied on Ramri. The Japanese garrison put up tenacious resistance but on 1 February, 
The 71st Brigade reached Sun and parts of the 36th Indian Infantry Brigade from reserve took Sagu Kuyun Island and relieved the Marines on Shejuba Island. When the British outflanked a Japanese stronghold, the 900 defenders abandoned the base and marched to join a larger battalion of Japanese soldiers across the island. The route took the Japanese across 16 kilometers of mangrove swamp and as they struggled through it, the British encircled the area. Trapped in deep mud-filled land, tropical diseases soon started to afflict the soldiers, as did scorpions, tropical mosquitoes and saltwater crocodiles. On 7 February, the 71st Brigade and supporting tanks reached the town of Ramri and found determined Japanese resistance. The 4th Brigade had advanced to Ledongshong and were sent east to reinforce and the town fell on 9 February. The Navy and the 36th Division then concentrated on blockading the Charungs on the east coast to prevent the Japanese from escaping to the mainland. A Japanese air raid on the 11th of February seriously damaged a destroyer with a near miss and 40 small craft were sent from the mainland to rescue the survivors of the garrison. Japanese resistance on the island ended on the 17th of February and the Allied blockade was maintained until the 22nd of February, sinking many of the rescue craft and inflicting many casualties on the Japanese troops hiding in the mangrove swamps. About 500 troops managed to get away. Chejuba Island was not garrisoned and the 22nd East African Brigade was sent to hold Ramri Island. Aftermath Analysis In 1965, the Japanese defense of the island and the escape of about 500 men against fearful odds was called courageous and determined by Woodburn Kirby, the British official historian. It took until 16 April for the airfield to be used for transport sorties, ACUB having come into use on 1 April. It had been vital to complete the occupation of Ramri Island quickly, as Operation Dracula against Rangoon needed to commence in the first week of May at the latest, to have a chance of finishing before the monsoon. The experience in cooperation between the 26th Indian Division and the Navy in the War of Charungs and small ports along the Arakan coast was intended to be exploited in the attack. An estimate put naval gunfire support from 4 January 13 March for the land operations at Akyab, Ramri and Chejuba at 23,000 shells. The Navy also carried 54,000 men, 1,000 vehicles, 14,000 long tons of stores and 800 animals. Crocodile attack. Some British soldiers, including naturalist Bruce Stanley Wright, who participated in the battle, claimed that the crocodiles attacked and ate numerous Japanese soldiers. Wright gave a description in Wildlife Sketches Near and Far, quoted by Frank McLinn. That night of the 19th of February 1945 was the most horrible that any member of the M. L. Motor Launch crews ever experienced. The scattered rifle shots in the pitch-black swamp, punctured by the screams of wounded men crushed in the jaws of huge reptiles, and the blurred worrying sound of spinning crocodiles made a cacophony of hell that has rarely been duplicated on Earth. At dawn the vultures arrived to clean up what the crocodiles had left. Of about 1,000 Japanese soldiers that entered the swamps of Ramri, only about 20 were found alive. Right if Wright's claim is true the Ramri crocodile attacks are the worst in recorded history. The British Burma Star Association seems to lend credence to the swamp attack stories but appears to draw a distinction between the 20 Japanese survivors of one attack and the 900 Japanese who were left to fend for themselves in the swamp. There is no corroboration of the event by British military reports or by interviewed Japanese soldiers and local Burmese, as Wright's account is the only known source for the mass crocodile attack. These figures are disputed and the event has been described as an urban myth by some historians. McLean debunked the story, most of all, there is a single zoological problem. If thousands of crocodiles were involved in the massacre, as in the urban myth, 
How had these ravening monsters survived before and how were they to survive later? The ecosystem of a mangrove swamp, with a exiguous mammal life, simply would not have permitted the existence of so many saurians before the coming of the Japanese. Mucklin in 1965, the British official history, had only referred to crocodile-infested mangrove swamps.